And today I'm bringing you the audio sync tutorial that I've promised for a very long time and um, I have been really busy and making other videos at the time when everybody was requesting me to do it and for a while there I actually couldn't even make it so I'm really sorry that I didn't get to it earlier but uh, I was busy outside of YouTube and I needed to get my priorities straight and all that stuff before I could actually make this so now that all that's out of the way let's actually make a video <laughs> so let's go to Final Cut Pro we've got our clip with our audio oh I just accidentally cut something I'm sorry band-aids alright so I've got the um, little I call it I don't know why I called it quality test it was very old um so I've got the got this this thing here this this clip and uh, I've got my uh, song that I've made that's called Prudence for some random reason. I think the the app I was using to make it actually names the songs uh, randomly. So, and I don't think I changed it. Maybe I did. I don't know. It's a weird name. Besides that, uh, <laughs> first thing you want to do whenever you're making a montage, an OCE, anything, what you want to do, excuse me, is mute the audio on the clip because otherwise you have something like this you have your music and then you have this do you hear that you're trying to hear just you and all you can hear is just everybody else everybody else's grenades captain price is talking about how you lost the objective you failed or whatever and you just you miss everything you miss what what actually matters and that's your person's audio so what you want to do is just drag this slider down to negative 96 for some reason I missed okay there we go negative 96 ignore that <laughs> uh, negative 96 and now there's no audio except what you have um, uh, before we get started here, we're going to do a couple things. The first thing is to go in and listen to the song for a second. So, what we want to do is the first beat. You heard that first little beat down. Beat down. Beat down. No, down beat. You want to mark that with M. So, you hit M and you mark it. And what that's going to do is let you know that the down beat is right there. So you don't have to go looking, there's no, is it this one, is it this one, oh no, it's the next one. So, it just makes your life easier, um, honestly. That's all it does, whoops. <clears throat> and you want to make sure you have the audio selected so you don't accidentally mark your clip. And you're also going to uh, mark where the where the uh, shots were fired, or where, um, yeah, where the shots were fired. So, once we have this all sorted out, we will begin... Just another, even, I don't think I'm going to actually use that much, but just for, just in case, I don't know why. Alright, so you have the song, just starts up, and then it hits right there, but I don't like how it starts way back there, so what I'm going to do is use the blade tool using B, all your shortcuts <clears throat> for tools, excuse me, are right here. And blade is very important. You're gonna need that. All these, so uh, just learn them. It'll make everything a whole lot easier. So what you're gonna do is start off by cutting the audio. So you press B for blade. Cut right there, just by clicking. Hit A and then delete. And <laughs> this is something that happens a lot. There's no. Um, it's not really that big a deal. All you have to do is drag your clip over to the audio you're actually gonna be using, and then deleting, and then everything's fine. Uh, for a while I panicked because I didn't know what I was doing, like, it was a long time ago, but I, uh, eventually figured it out, what was going on, and now uh, hopefully you guys don't panic and you guys realize that it's just simple and not really something to be scared of. Okay, so now we've got this, and we're gonna fade in the audio, because that's something you should always be doing, and it's gonna seem abrupt, but that's because this is just a tutorial and not, like, an actual video where you'd have all the, like, uh, you know, like intro stuff and intro edited by this player, blah, 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 all that intro stuff. So it will seem abrupt, but that's okay for the purpose of this video. Now, your marker will kind of magnetize the 
slider, so that's awesome. Now you, with your blade tool, you're gonna cut right on your marker, and right before that, just a little bit before, you cut away, select, and delete. Now this is the effect from the sync tut um, video I did a while ago, where it actually wasn't the tutorial. I didn't actually call it that, but it was like coming soon or something. I forget what I actually called the video. So anyway, this member of my guy was running and he skips ahead. He like appears to jump ahead. That's what this is right here. So even though there's no gun shooting, you can still get the feel of audio syncing happening. So it looks like something like that. So it just skips ahead. And if you want, you can go back and I'll undo this and make it more just more pronounced or dramatic. <clears throat> and then just drag this over. Like something like that. That was a little bit too much. It looks weird after. But say somewhere around here. Now delete. Now drag and right when the beat hits, it goes over, so it looks pretty cool. At least I think. I don't know. You guys can tell me what it looks like. I think it looks cool. So, now here's your second marker. Second marker hits, and this is kind of an awkward position because the gun's moving. You're kind of, I'm kind of going, I'm pointing it down because I'm running, and I'm also turning at the same time, so it won't look as good as the other one, but you could still do the same thing. So, uh, normally you'll have situations like this where something just doesn't look right, and you'll have to figure out a way around it. Um, but see how it kind of, it looks funny, but you still get the picture that, <clears throat> wow, for some reason my throat itches, uh, some reason, uh, no, no, what was I saying? You still get the, the idea that it's skipping to the beat, skipping to the beat, and right here, look at that, it's already lined up, look at that, that's, that's skill. <clears throat> now, say that didn't happen, say... The clip was like this, and the bullet hits here. And I'll just use a marker to make my life easier again. On the, this time, it's on the clip. You got to select what you want for the marker. If I select here and press it, it'll be on the audio. If I select the clip and press it, it'll be on the clip. Um, say the bullet is uh, the bullet. I shoot. I shoot the bullet. Uh, I shoot right here. Say that happens like this, and the beat is here. So. It happens way later. What you can do is you can just blade like you did before, but this time uh, the events leading up to it actually will. Hold on. The events leading up to it is like this and this. You go here, modify, retime, and you want to make it faster or slower depending on what it is. In this case, it's faster. So now it's almost there. And now you can make it even faster, or you can just select the whole clip and make it faster. So it looks less um, less ridiculous because right now it'll be a little a little crazy. But in general, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say here, so that you can use this because this is awesome. Retiming is amazing for syncing. It'll help so 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 much. If I could just drag this thing down, there we go. So now it works. It it works and it looks crazy, but. It works. Basically, it's right on time. Now, what you want to do is download a uh, HD Mario for three, <coughs> excuse me, sniper file so that you can actually hear the audio that you're that you're going to be using. So you go like something like this, or you could blade around the audio of the clip so that actually uh, you can actually just hear that. Hopefully, no one's shooting at the same time. Otherwise, you'll have to use this. But this works. See how it, you know, it's it's not the best quality, but I'm sure there's better quality somewhere. So basically, hope you guys get the idea. You use the skipping when there's nothing shooting, when they're shooting. Um, if it's too, if the clip is too far ahead of the audio, then you can uh, slow it down. If it's too far behind, you can speed it up. I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, and yeah, use markers. Always mute your audio. Um, trying to think. Think what else I uh, I gave for tips, uh, but yeah, just use your use your tools. That's another another big one. So hope this helped uh, you figure out how to audio sync better, and I hope you can get results something like that. So it's just the beat of the song goes right with the gunshot, or just with the clip in general. So I hope this helped, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. And ooh, next week tutorial. Um, 
I'm going to make a tutorial uh, on how to get the best settings with your HDPVR and ITV. Uh, look out for that next week, like I said, uh, making that one. And hopefully you guys, uh, you'll actually need this one because I think a lot of people don't know how to get the best settings. Even tutorials that I used to watch didn't have it right. So um, that's coming out. Battlefield 3 live com with uh, Op Gambit. Me and Op Gambit do a live com. 33 minutes. That's coming out next Friday. So get ready. Uh, I'm actually making a schedule here. Tuesday is the tutorial for best settings. And next Friday is going to be the tutorial. Or the tutorial. The Battlefield 3 live, um, live com. So get ready for those. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps. Hope you guys figure out how to do it better. Any comments, just leave them. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, you want to let me do, to do another one, whatever. Um, yeah, but just play around. Uh, be creative. Help yourself, you know. Uh, anything you can do to make yourself better at editing will help a lot. Learn the tools. I'm rambling for so long. I'm just going to end the video. Goodbye. <laughs>